I've invested over tens of thousands of dollars into this knowledge that uh, I have taken and I've been able to implement it into my Overcomer Academy um, and make it successful in, within my first few months. And I want you to understand that you can do this the same exact way that I did it. I wanna show you how to do it and I wanna help you, okay? customers online I mean really at the end of the day uh, a business relies on prospects relies on clients and if clients can't go out or they're not going out how are you gonna get customers I mean that is the question right fortunately for me and my construction business I run a construction business as well as my, my virtual business um, we've been going we've been considered essential uh, our business is still going right now and we're still pushing and shoving but that doesn't mean we weren't affected um, I also do maintenance for some of the largest hotels in, in the world. Uh, we do it for Hilton, Marriott, the, the Renaissance, I mean, we're talking Wynn, I mean, not Wynn, but uh, uh, Westin, all these major, major hotel uh, people that, that are in the hospitality business, and they're hurting right now. My partners are hurting, you know, and I feel for them. Uh, the best thing you can do if you're in that situation is try to keep in touch with your contacts and let them know that you're there for them. Let them know that uh, you're, you're, you're rooting for them and you're there for them when they need you again because right now they're not gonna be doing business with you but as soon as things get back on, who do you think they're gonna think of? Who do you think they're gonna talk to as soon as that thing, this whole thing goes away, which it will go away. Our history, if you just look at history of time, this is not uh, a dinosaur extinction, okay? Our history of time has proven to us that humans are resilient and we will pull through and we will adapt and we will overcome. And so I hope you know that. I hope we, you know that we will overcome and we will adapt and we will pull through this. It just depends on what you are gonna be doing in the time being, right? What are you gonna do right now while you have this time, while you have your energy? You know, you, maybe you're at home right now. Maybe you got laid off your project. Maybe you got laid off your job. But you can do two things. One, you can take your foot off the gas and you can stop, okay? You can just stop doing everything and just take this as a vacation. Or two, you can honestly say, you know what? I'm gonna pivot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some movement. I'm gonna make some noise in the universe and I'm gonna push forward and I'm gonna make things happen. And so, if you're already experienced, then you already know that times like this is a time where you can really prosper. And the reason why I know this is because my back has been in the corner of my entire life. I've always been the underdog. I've always been the guy that has had losses when I was younger. And I've been through a lot, as a lot of us have. And what I've learned is that when your back's in the corner, you'll work harder, you'll push harder, you'll work longer, you'll work stronger and you won't give up as easy, okay? And so understand this, this is your opportunity to push past the noise and use this time, not as a comfort time, but as a time 
to get uncomfortable and do the things that you never wanted to do before. This is giving you the opportunity to do the things that you thought you shouldn't do or you didn't have the time to do because you have the time now. And so that is the last thing I'm gonna tell you is because of all this new gap in time is our Overcomer Academy uh, was teaching people online, getting prospects online virtually, showing people how to get into large commercial contracts. And we are still teaching that under our Overcomer Academy. So if you're in the construction industry or the service industry, definitely look into that. I, I, our content shows you how to get in with these big commercial players, how to build relationships with them, how to push past the noise, who to contact, what to say, okay? Uh, we're still teaching that. But with this new pandemic and with everything that's going on in the world, we have taken action. We said, you know what? We're not gonna just sit here and wait for the hotel industry to turn back on. And so we made a, a simple switch, a simple pivot in our Overcomer Academy business. And what we're offering now is we're showing people the blueprint behind how we get our clients online, how we turned our business virtual, and how you can turn your business virtual. Okay, this can work for almost any business. I believe that it can probably work for almost any business, okay? You can have a restaurant, okay? You can have a dessert menu. Maybe you got some special dessert that you've always wanted to sell, okay? Um, maybe you're a personal trainer, okay, or a gym owner, or you are somebody that just, you're a barber, right? And you wanna schedule clients, or you wanna sell the, the next best clippers or scissors because you wanna build your brand and you wanna sell it on the internet. And so I wanna show you how to have that virtual blueprint, okay? Right now, in this day and age, with the, with the economy, with everything that's going on, even when this pandemic goes away, I know that this is going to stick around. This is not going anywhere, okay? Meaning that once this passed, once this passes, human behavior is going to stay the same, okay? Human behavior is going to stay the same. They are gonna stick to what they're doing right now. And what are they doing right now? They're sitting at home, they're buying stuff on Amazon, they're buying stuff online, they're ordering groceries online, Uber Eats, a Lyft, I mean, they are ordering stuff from 7-Eleven, from restaurants and, and getting their food delivered straight to their door. Now, when this thing changes, obviously a lot of people are gonna you know, go out, go to the movies, go to a restaurant and stuff like that. But this is the time for you to maximize on this human behavior. And if you weren't on the internet before, I promise you there is more people on the internet now than there ever has been. And when this pandemic is over, there's still going to be people on the internet. And so you need to really consider going virtual in your business, okay? Turning your business virtual um, if you can, or if you have a new business idea and you want to go virtual, you've always wanted to start a virtual business or an online business, I have the blueprint. I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know, everything that I've learned over the last year that I have taught myself and I have paid people to teach me. I've spent over tens of thousands of dollars in education in order for me to understand this. And then I've been implemented it into my Overcomer Academy business that has brought me clients, that has brought me the softwares, that has given me the tools and the marketing tools that I need to be able to go virtual. And here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this with, okay? Starting a virtual business is the same as starting a business, not online, but in person, in reality. It is literally the same exact thing. When you think about it, when you start a business, what do you need to do? The first thing you need to do is you need to get customers, okay? You need to get customers and you need to know how to get those customers, right? How do you get in front of those customers and how do you get those customers? Then you need to do a simple sales transaction. You have to have a sales system where you can actually sell or, or you know, whatever, just communicate with them and, and explain to them your product or service. And that is exactly how you need to start. You have to have a sales system. Then you have to have a way to collect cash, right? Or credit card. And so online is exactly the same as in person. But if you don't have the virtual, the virtual tools that you need, okay? You don't understand, you know, what you need in order to get in front of those customers or to find your clients that, that want to do business with you that just, they just don't know who you are, right? They don't know how to find you. They don't know how to get to you because you don't have any virtual uh, presence, okay? And so what I wanna show you how to do is how do you make a virtual presence? 
how do you put all that sales process into play virtually online so you don't have to do it in person you don't have to do it over the phone then you can online check them out and send them a product or offer them a service all virtual okay and it's simpler than you think and i want you to understand this because i remember when i first got started with this I was like, oh my God, there's so much to know. And I've been, I've been studying, you know, for the last three, four years, uh, watching content on virtual stuff, you know, listening to all the gurus about online, this e-commerce, that, this, that, and the third. And really what I have found over my last three, four years of investigation, while I've run my other companies and, and plan for the future, you know, so I can start my online business is, uh, it's simpler than you think. And I have hired, coaches i've bought courses i've bought programs i just want you to understand that going virtual could be the thing that you need to do in 2020 okay going virtual going online putting your business on the map online quite honestly i don't even care if you're in the service industry i help a lot of you service owners window cleaners pressure washers guys like that if you are selling a uh, residential, I want to show you how you can get your clients online, how you can have a virtual presence, how you can literally take them from your content creation all the way through your sales process to scheduling that appointment and getting the job all through virtual. Um, it's, it's incredible guys. And, and if you work at this long enough, hard enough, and you go at it, you can have your very own virtual business too. And I don't care if you want to just make a couple grand a month, or if you're just getting started in this game, or if you want to take your existing business that you have right now and you want to implement some virtual strategies, we want to show you how to do that, okay? Or if you want to be the next millionaire, right? That might take time. You're not going to get rich overnight. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're implementing this new online strategies, these virtual strategies, it's going to take you time, but that's okay. Now's the time to start in 2020 to go virtual, okay? And so, my last piece of advice for you guys is hang in there. We will get through this, okay? We will get through this. And the best information I can give you right now is if you're hurting or you're in a situation right now that this thing is putting you on, on a strangle and it's putting your, your life upside down and it's causing heartache for you and it's causing stress and it's causing anxiety, is I want you right now, okay, to stop stressing out and understand that this is going to pass okay this is we are going to get through this and what you need to understand that is you need to pivot right now okay pivot change make change okay if there's something in your business right now that's not working change it okay maybe there's that project that you always wanted to start and now you have the time start it okay the big thing is is not to get stagnant do not get stagnant in this time okay this time will put you stagnant and it will put you on your ass because you're gonna get lazy, you're gonna get complacent, you're gonna get isolated, and then you're gonna let this thing take you out. And you don't want that, man. You wanna use this time to get creative, resourceful, get those juices flowing, okay? It's fight or flight right now. And as a man or as a woman, right now, your creative juices are flowing because of all the stress and anxiety and all this stuff that's going on with you. The most creative things can happen to you right now if you can just make a simple twist because it won't happen if you're too overwhelmed and you're too stressed out. The creative stuff won't come out. You have to calm yourself and put yourself in a situation and think clearly and say, hey, I'm gonna take action on this new course and I'm good, not this new course of action of this new path and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna start this virtual thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act on this idea that I've always had that I've never done i want you to do that okay you need to do that right now okay hang in there it's your boy john i hope you guys are doing well and i hope you guys stay safe okay i'll be i'll be putting up new content every day uh documenting my journey uh building this new virtual business showing showing you guys how i went virtual a year ago and how you can too and i am gonna document every step of the way of how i'm starting this from scratch and how i'm gonna help you guys go virtual okay Hang in there, stay strong. Okay, if there's value that I can offer you today, I hope I helped just at least one person at least get motivated enough and inspired enough to understand that this is the time to act. It is not the time to fall down, okay? I know you got this. Stay with me.